So, Joe Rogan said the N-word. A bunch of times. A bunch of, bunch of times. Over 20 times. Let's talk about that. A few days ago, India Arya posted a compilation of Joe Rogan saying the N-word many, many times. And this was over the years in various clips from his podcast. Joe Rogan's claiming that it's taken out of context, but let's just watch the clip. You know, the yeah. thing. Yeah. Saying the word. Uh, like, you've already said. D is just like. Saying. She's calling you. A it's like this boy that he's. And starts calling them. Word. There should be a word like. Especially like the word. That's. Our button. He says. Guy. And then. Saying. Allowed to use the word out the word word you couldn't say clearly that is many contexts that happened on various occasions and uh i'm kind of disappointed there's so much of it even joe rogan in his apology was like yeah there's a lot of it obviously joe rogan has been in a lot of trouble recently with spotify They've been losing artists because they don't want to be associated with the anti-vaxxers that Joe Rogan has on his podcast. And this is just going to add to that. And it makes him look really, really bad and kind of racist. Not even kind of racist. He just seems racist hearing that out of context. I mean, there is some context, but it still sounds extremely racist. He says that he was just discussing the word itself and not using it so that it's okay, but he should know better, and even at the time, he should have known better than using the word and not just saying the N-word. And it's pretty common for successful white men to use the word. Lots of high-profile successful white dudes have said things like this, especially internet celebrities like Joe Rogan and PewDiePie. PewDiePie, to be fair, he said it as a slur, and he said it as an insult to someone in front of thousands and thousands of children, so that is worse for sure. And to be a white dude in his 40s and 50s, that's how old he was when these clips were made, saying it so casually, not flinching at all, and seemingly comfortable, it just, Joe Rogan is white, white, guys. He's mainstream white male voice. It's just not correct or okay in any context for him to have used the word and he admits to that freely in his apology here's a clip of that i'm making this video to talk about the most regretful and shameful thing that i've ever had to talk about publicly there's a video that's out that's a compilation of me saying the n-word it's a video that's made of clips taken out of context of me of 12 years of conversations on my podcast and it's all smushed together and it looks fucking horrible even to me now i know that to most people there's no context where a white person is ever allowed to say that word never mind publicly on a podcast and i agree with that now i haven't said it in years but for a long time when I would bring that word up, like if it would come up in conversation and stay, instead of saying the N word, I would just say the word. I thought as long as it was in context, people would understand what I was doing. I was also talking about how there's not another word like it in the entire English language because it's a word where only one group of people is allowed to use it and they can use it in so many different ways. Like if a white person says that word, it's racist and toxic, but... A black person can use it and it could be a punchline. It could be a term of endearment. It could be lyrics to a rap song. It could be a positive affirmation. It's a very unusual word, but it's not my word to use. I'm well aware of that now. I mean, I think clearly Joe Rogan has learned that that's not okay anymore and it wasn't okay. There was honest context to what he was discussing, I'm sure, for a lot of those clips. However, it was used too freely, I feel like, in some of them, and it just denotes kind of a bias, and it's unsettling, because to just say it like that so freely, and some of the clips he's like laughing and stuff, it really makes light of the word. Then there's the Planet of the Apes comment, yeah, yeah, like, really not good. I'm just gonna play that for you as well. He takes us there, we get out, 
and we're giggling. Ooh, we're going to go see Planet of the Apes. We walk into Planet of the Apes. <laughs> we walked into Africa, dude. We, we, we walked in the door, and there was no white people. There was no white people. We, Planet of the Apes didn't take place in Africa. Was, that was a racist thing for me to say. But you see what I'm saying. What I'm saying is... Flies we, automatically stuck to your head. Yeah, we, we, what happened is we walked into the blackest neighborhood we could find. And there's more to that. There's like a whole five-minute discussion there. But, and he did immediately apologize because it was a racist joke. He acknowledges the joke was racist within the, a minute of saying it. But at the same time, he just nods along to the other dude's racist comment. He makes a fly comment about flies in the eye, which is extremely racist. Joey Diaz says something about black parents not giving a fuck about school for their kids, which is really bad. These people brought babies, bro. I mean, there's a lot of people babies. with babies. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't just one. These, these people in front of us walked in and they had toddlers, like little two-year-olds sitting on their lap to see Planet of the Fucking Apes wow. at like 1040 on a Friday night. And didn't give a fuck about Didn't school. give a fuck. Nothing. Didn't give a fuck. Because there were apparently some kids at the late night showing that Joe Rogan was talking about. I mean, he even says it's a Friday night, though, so there is no school in the morning, you fucking idiot. Joe Rogan also then complains about black Americans wanting greater representation in film, which is in itself somewhat racist. It wasn't explicitly or intentionally racist, but it did promote stereotypes and hold up institutional racism with some comments. That's still not great. And despite his ultimate takeaway, which was, you know, a better understanding of the black struggle for representation, he does clarify that it was weird to see a lack of black people in the advertisements before the movie. Was watching all of these previews of all these different TV shows, or all these different movies rather that are coming out, and I'm watching these movies and all of them are about white people. Oh, weird. And I'm sitting there and I'm going, wow, this is weird. Like, imagine being a black person. And I always thought, like, people would complain. Like, I'd hear black people complain about, uh, you know, oh, there's no films for black people. There's no roles for black actors. And I'd be like, so go make a movie. What, what do you want from me? You know? But when you go to a goddamn movie theater with all black people, that's when you really feel it. I'm sitting there in the audience, and all these people are black, but every movie preview is white. There's no black characters. And then finally there's this movie with Jonah Hill. And they show a preview for the movie. And it's Jonah Hill. And he's doing all this different shit. And he's babysitting kids. But he's supposed to be like a cool guy. And the way they show you who's, he's a cool guy is there's an old black guy working like at a door at a club. Like the black guy's there. And Jonah Hill's talking black to him. You know, it is what it is, brother. It is what it is. And I'm watching this with all these black people. I'm watching this white guy talk like a black guy. And I'm in this fucking theater field. And I'm like, and I'm high as fuck. I mean, just barbecued. Sitting there soaking in this experience going, wow, this is fucked up. Like what? Is, no wonder why black people are angry and they feel disenfranchised. Like they're completely removed from the mainstream cultural experience yeah. in a lot of ways. And how awkward it was to listen to Jonah Hill's black scent, which is just like, dang, Jonah Hill got thrown into this a little bit. Just not a good look at all. Very messy. So the woman who shared all this and really got this ball rolling, you know, she's a famous, notably a black artist, India REA. She's also pulling her music from Spotify now, which means there's likely going to be more after her. Spotify stock will continue to suffer, and there may be enough pressure to finally remove Joe Rogan from the platform, as many people are calling for on the left. Now, if this gets any worse, and it could be very bad for Spotify, they have a good thing going right now in the music industry, and at the end of the day, they're not going to let Joe Rogan mess it all up for them. I'm not saying I agree or disagree with deplatforming him, removing him from Spotify. I mean, I'm a leftist, obviously. I think vaccine disinformation is extremely dangerous. It's clearly deadly. So I have my reservations about Joe Rogan, and yet, you know, I also was a fan years ago, and I think he has a powerful platform to reach an audience that others can't. You know, he's had Sanjay Gupta and other doctors on his show to talk about real COVID science, and I think there may be a way to safely and responsibly host those anti-vax views by showing them alongside, you know, disclaimers, why they're wrong, 
simultaneously promoting the medical facts and also having, you know, opposing experts there to refute the bad science. That could all be a moot point, though, because if Joe Rogan gets in any more hot water, I don't think he's going to have a platform on Spotify anymore. I don't know what that means for the $100 million deal he got which is something that India Arya mentioned in her video where she said she's leaving the platform. Artists are getting like a small percentage of a, p a penny on every dollar or every play on Spotify. And, you know, meanwhile, Joe Rogan has this massive contract. Obviously, he's getting a lot of views compared to a lot of songs, but it begs the question for a lot of artists if they should support this company when they're holding up people like Joe Rogan and paying him out so big. What do you think? Do you think Joe Rogan shouldn't have said those things? Do you think he should have just said the N-word instead of explicitly saying it? Do you think it's blown out of proportion and it's fine? Whatever you think, I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. This has been a video by Higher Level Gaming. I'm Rob Glob, and you can subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to always find out when we post videos like this one. Normally, we cover political topics like this, but more in the video game realm. But above all else, don't forget to have a nice day and go listen to some podcasts. Maybe not Joe Rogan, though.